Everyone knows about Kick, but if you don't know about Kick, that's right, that, that's why I'm here. I'll explain it to you. Someone last year, Trainwreck TV, an ex streamer from Twitch, collaborated with a new and upcoming stream site called Kick.com, or collaborated with Stake, who ultimately made Kick.com rather. They are the fastest growing application for live streaming, and over the months have gotten an audience, obviously. Now, there's been many competitors in the streaming world. We have YouTube, we have Twitch, we have maybe Twitter, Facebook games. The list can go on really, but none of them really step up against Twitch, like let's be honest. Out of every site, Twitch is ultimately the best streaming platform, I would say. Best in popularity and go-to streaming. Now, there's been many competitors in the past, but none of them have been able to, you know, step up to the level that Twitch has and ultimately have died out, such as Mixer. And a lot of people expected the same thing. Now, the reason why people are going to kick is not because it's just a competitor, but it's also because it, it really gives more to the stream. We know that Twitch has a 50 to 50 revenue split, which basically means that 50% of the money that you work to earn goes to Twitch and while you keep 50% yourself. Now, the reason why people are hyped over Kick is because it splits its revenue 95 to 5, which means that Kick gets 5% of the revenue while the creator gets 95%. 100% of all tips will go to the creator. Now, a lot of people didn't like Kick initially because it was made by Stake. You guys don't know Stake, that's basically a gambling company that was running rampant through Twitch and basically just causing havoc for the most part. And people thought that would ruin the credibility of Kick. But there have been some huge news. Trainwreck TV tweeted that Kick was basically going to announce six big streamers that are moving from Twitch to their site. I don't know if it's specifically moving from Twitch, by the way. And one of them has already been announced, and that is Hikaru. Now, if you don't know Hikaru, that's right. I also didn't really know him. I only know a little bit about him, but he's basically just a big guy on the chess scene. Like, if you watch chess streams or you're into chess and you watch some chess content creators, you most likely watch Hikaru. And it makes sense to get someone from the chess scene. Like, chess is popping off. People, like, are into chess now for some god off. I don't know why. But anyway, people watch him. Chess is a huge scene at the moment for streaming and content creation as a whole. So it makes sense that there was sign somebody like him. And this is one out of the six. Now, if Kick already announcing someone as big as Hikaru, that could open a plethora of options to many other people. Like, one person that I thought before the announcement happened was Dr. Disrespect. Dr. Disrespect got kicked off twitch youtube really doesn't care about him where he is right now so that's definitely one person that i would highly anticipate i still could be wrong though but it's just a prediction i can't really make any other predictions but we're most likely gonna see much more creators as big as he could maybe even more from the chess scene because it makes us eco ecosystem wise like it'd be really smart to do what youtube did where you sign specific creators who like know each other so that you can get that group of audience type of thing like an ecosystem you know so if they do something like that then i am darn to say that kick is will actually be a worthy competitor for twitch and i say for switch because no one really cares about the other streaming sites i think it is really important to have a competitor such as kick simply because if you're the only person dominating in one thing you're gonna do whatever you want especially in like business for example like if you invented the hoverboard and i'm not talking about those rolling ones I'm talking about like an actual hoverboard you could overprice them to hell but people will buy it because you're the only source for it you know but then you have another company who sells hoverboards but they're a much lower price that's gonna make them think like damn all right well let's lower the price basically what i'm saying is that this would potentially push twitch to do things that are more biased to their creators instead of just the company but that's just me however it is huge as much as i hate kick for some of the controversial stuff that is already happening there and i think it's probably still happening i think it's really important that they clean up their act i think that kick would actually be a really good competitor not like a mixer by the way like a good competitor that can make twitch be like damn okay let's actually do stuff that will attract more people and allow our creators to stay because the things that they've been doing is ridiculous on twitch let's be honest yes i've been only streaming for like two months on twitch maybe even three i don't know but the things that i've heard are ridiculous the splits are crazy and obviously like you twitch is not the only like person that could suffer from kick success as other streaming sites like youtube as well like youtube is my thing damn if i want to stream let me not do it here on youtube let me go do it on kick because i get more out of it and yada 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 you know that type of thing like if kick actually like you know cleans up their moderation and not have porn for every second thing that you see then a then it could be much much better than twitch objectively speaking and it just might objectively succeed 
indeed. At the time of the recording, I only know one of the six people that have been announced, so I don't know who else to expect, but I definitely expect like another person from the chess scene, most likely Dr. Disrespect, let's be honest, and most probably just people who are Twitch famous, but not specifically like Destiny 2 famous or Fortnite famous, you know, like you can be well known in that category of gaming on Twitch, right? But you won't exactly be known that well on Twitch all around. So I think that they're gunning for people like that, but that's just me. However, it's just a prediction. I'm really interested to see what unfolds and yeah, I think that's all I really have to say. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do leave a like. That'd be greatly appreciated if you do want to, of course, also feel to check out my other videos or post streams or whatever the case may be, then please do subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated it if you do want to, of course. I do have a Twitch, like I said, link in the description. You can go check me out over there. Lots of funky stuff happening over there, so you should definitely tune in. And you know what it is, guys. Peace.